We all want to be great players. We want to have fancy skills, but you need to start somewhere. In this video, I'm going to show you soccer drills for beginners. Regardless of your age, if you're just getting started in soccer, you're a total beginner, I would recommend that you start with fundamental skills. I'm gonna give you a few drills that are easy to get started with. They'll help you build a little bit of confidence on the ball. Number one is footwork drills. So you've all seen this a hundred times, but start here, build confidence using both feet. Next, I would move into a little more advanced. These are still drills that I do all the time. And in reality, a lot of advanced players, they get away from fundamentals or they think they're too good for fundamentals and they're really missing out on some valuable development. Their, their technical skills could be a lot better if they didn't think that they needed complex advanced drills. Do the basics, do them very well. So coming back to footwork, doing some of these inside outside touches, bending knees, getting low to the ground, working with both feet. So let's talk about that for a second. Don't wait until you've played 10 years to start working on your weak foot. Work on both feet. Use both feet from the very beginning. You will thank yourself that you did this. And whatever point in your career that you're at right now, adopt the mentality. If I do 10 shots with my right, I'm gonna do 10 shots with my left. So fundamentals, what do we for work? Next I would do is some dribbling drills, basic turning. Dribbling with the ball turning, focus on getting low to the ground, nice touches. You can use inside the foot, outside the foot. That's where I would start. And again, with both feet, focusing on the touches, but also movement of the body. And everyone makes mistakes. If you do, especially as a beginner, just go again. Okay, but getting low to the ground, inside touches, outside, Focusing on turning inside and outside of the foot. The next soccer drill I would have you practice is juggling. So obviously this is the goal, nice, comfortable, confident juggling. But realistically, if you just started, that is a struggle. So what you wanna do is start kick and catch. Focus on getting good backspin on the ball. Focus on getting a nice, strong touch. Probably struggling to get enough power on the ball. It's probably dying down here. So in the beginning, it's better for you to have a touch that's way too heavy than a touch that's not strong enough. So focus on flexing that foot, curling your toes, getting under the ball, creating good backspin on the ball. You don't want it to go to the side. You don't want it to go forward. If anything, have it come into yourself so at least you can control it. Okay, but start with the kick and catch. Once you're comfortable in that, you developed confidence in actually flexing your foot and getting a good strong touch. You can do a double, you can do a left right or a right left, but then you wanna move into actually juggling, trying to keep the ball up as many times as you can. And maybe today your record is four, but that's where you start. Tomorrow, you wanna to make it five. The next day, you wanna do six or beat your record every single day. Use it as a way to challenge yourself and to actually see if you're progressing with your ball control with your basic fundamental skills. So don't get frustrated if you make a mistake. I know it can be very frustrating as a beginner when you see other people juggling the ball and it looks so easy for them. But realistically, you don't deserve to have those skills yet because you haven't put in the time. They have, but you will get the skills. Just put in the practice. If you make mistakes, don't get frustrated. Just pick the ball up again, go again. Think about what you're doing wrong, what you can do better next time. So the next fundamental skill that you need to practice as a beginner is ball striking. So ball striking can be shooting and it can also mean passing. You need to practice both and you need to practice with both feet from the beginning. Now, getting a ball and shooting it into a net is fantastic, but I wanna show you a better way to practice as a beginner. Shooting into a net. It feels really good. It sounds good, it feels good. And it's good practice. But as a beginner, as any player, realistically, 
the way you're going to improve faster is with more repetitions. Obviously, you have to analyze those repetitions, but if I can kick a ball against a wall and it passes it back to me, and I have to get it, every time I'm practicing on the field, if I have one ball, I kick it in the net, then I run and go get it, then I run back, and then I go again to take another shot. You're getting two shots in the time that you would get 20 shots with a wall. So I really recommend practicing with a wall. So if you're practicing shooting, just start it there. Start basic technique. Take a touch. Focus on making good contact. You're not trying to feel it. As a beginner, you're not trying to blast the ball as hard as you can. What you're focusing on is good technique. So focus on nice, clutch contact. Don't worry about being it hard. Just hit the wall, hit the squat, especially for you to get your accuracy in the beginning. And my left is pulling too much that way. Okay, practicing against the wall like that is a great way to improve your skills. So shooting is one, you can practice passing as one. Okay, play with touch. Good first touch. Different touches. Space. You can play one touch. Good contact with the inside of my foot. Nice strong pass. Flexing the foot as I move the shot. I can practice turning. Being creative. Okay? Your wall is your best friend when you want to get better as a beginner.